Metro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it Welcome cool, this to Retro Bassin. I gotta be honest, I don't know what we're doing here. Yesterday was my birthday, I stayed up a little bit late, and today I've got a big work call at about noon 30. So I didn't actually think I'd be uh, on the water today. That being said, I woke up at 5 a.m. I uh, decided to throw some sunblock and some short shorts on, and here we are. So I don't have an episode planned today. I don't know what the heck we're going to be throwing. It is just after sunrise, so I think I might be able to get a little bit of top water action. Maybe from there I'll get a little bit of bottom water action, maybe with a worm or a crankbait. If this is your first time here, and you like the fish at old school, I'm talking classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment, stick around consider subscribing and definitely hit that bell icon that way you know when we post a new video like this one well I think I'm gonna dig back into the old treasure chest now and see what I can find <laughs> what should I fish with okay I think I've got it figured out this is a pack of rebel soft classics what this is if for those that recall I think these came out sometime in the 80s it was some of your favorite lure designs like the Zara puppy and right here we have a pop R but made in a 100% soft plastic version. I've never fished this bait before. I'm pretty excited to try it. I don't know if it floats or not. I'm gonna rig it up with a wide gap hook, fish it probably like I would a pop bar, hopefully, um, and we'll see. So there we go. And I guess here's how you're supposed to rig it. Let's check it out. So as I'm rigging this bait up, I, I do know why I actually picked the pop bar. Uh, I've been scouring YouTube as of late, probably like most of you guys, and I stumbled upon a new old channel uh, by one of my favorite bassers, Rick Clun. Rick started up a channel, I don't think it was that long ago, he's only got a handful of videos, but it's pretty cool. He's talking about the history of some of the favorite baits that he's uh, fished with over the years. And as you can imagine, Rick Clun is one heck of a retro basser. Uh, what he was doing was telling the story of how when he used to be on tour He would probably a whole lot like me hit just about every local tackle shop He could find and find if there were any baits that he'd never seen before one of the baits that he discovered uh, From a client actually that was super effective Was a discontinued bait by the name of the rebel pop R. Long before Zell Roland ever knew how to spell pop R, Rick Clun was smoking bass on him Rick learned a couple things about fishing the pop bar and he mentioned it in the video and by the way, I'll probably drop a link to that down below. Talked about how he would fish it with heavy line. I actually ended up tying on some 17 pound test mono um, per Rick's recommendation. And he would cast it out and fish it really fast all the way back to the boat. So here is the soft classic bait. It looks a whole lot like a pop bar, but it's, um, it's plastic. If this thing works, one thing I can already tell you right now is this thing's gonna be uh, pretty darn weedless, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna rig it kinda like a worm. Hope for the best. If you guys think rigging a soft worm is hard, you should try rigging this thing. Well, son, I don't know if that's right, but that's what we got. <laughs> Okay, right out of the gates. This thing is a little bit more of a blooper than a uh, pop bar style. It's got more of a pronounced bottom lip on it. I'm gonna leave that on for right now, but I might be tempted to cut that off Zell Roland style in a little bit.
there's one. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, son. <laughs> Check him out. Come on, son. Well, there we go. First little fish we got on the soft classic pop R. Man, that was pretty cool. That was <laughs> so weird. I've never actually had to set the hook on a top water uh, with just one hook. So that was that was interesting. Um, by the way, I don't know if you all saw, but did he not hit like a much bigger fish than he was? I mean, nice fish, but. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Well, thank you, Mr. Rick Clun, for inspiring me to break out a, a pop bar style bait. I think I literally watched that Rick Clun video last night, so um, timing was appropriate. <laughs> It's a nice little dude. We'll let him go. So initial observations on the soft classic Rebel Pop R. Honestly, it's a pretty cool bait. Um, there's going to be a little bit of inconsistency, I think, with any soft plastic bait that comes out of the package. I noticed some of these Pop R's look a little bit more Pop R-esque. That bottom lip, it definitely has more of a scooper lip um, than the classic Zell Roland Pop R. I haven't shaved that thing off yet. I might try it for the next cast just to kind of see if that changes the action at all. Um, but overall, it's really cool for these giant grass flats where you don't know if you're gonna... But overall, it's really cool for these giant grass flats where you don't know if you're gonna catch a pocket of weeds mid-cast. Normally, those double treble hooks would get you hung up. This thing just slides through it almost just like a grass frog. The story of the pop bait was pretty cool and I don't want to steal too much of the suspense if you all happen to hop over to Rick Clun's video. But basically, Rick was a professional guide at the time and he had a client that came on the boat with a pop bar and started fishing it all wrong. And by all wrong, I mean that at the time, all the baits were supposed to be chugged. Sort of that bloop, bloop, bloop action, very similar to a hula popper. Well, this client who was fishing it all wrong would cast that pop bar out and reel it back to the boat almost as fast as possible. Twitch, 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 spit, spit, spit. <laughs> Rick was about to correct the, uh, the client when he hooked up with a big bass. And then another, and then another. And next thing you know, that classic pop bar technique was born. One of the things I do like about this Rebel Soft Classic, to be honest with you, is according to Rick, you're supposed to fish that pop bar on 17 pound test minimum. Well, the pop bar is a quarter ounce bait. I don't know about y'all, but I suck at casting a quarter ounce bait on 17 pound test line. I think that's generally one of the reasons I have not fished the pop bar more often, um, just because it's just, it's hard to fish. That being said, uh, this soft classic is just zinging, almost like a spoon. Legend has it, Zell Roland used to take a pop bar and he would sand the entire thing down and then shave off that bottom lip. What shaving off that bottom lip does is with that lip, it becomes more of a blooper, which was the vast majority of that style of bait back in the day. But if you shave this off, it becomes more of a spitter, a quieter, faster bait. Um, this thing doesn't have a ton of lip, but I'm going to cut it down just a little bit anyway. Hopefully I don't jack it all up. So there's our lip and I'm just going to shave off just a hair of that ridge. I yeah, hopefully I'm not jacking this thing up too bad. Okay, so there we go. I shaved off just a little bit of that bottom lip. We'll see if that changes up the action at all. Oh man, it's staying right up on top now. It's spitting, it's not blooping. Son, we are gonna get hit, I'm telling you. So I don't know what ha ever happened to the soft classic line of baits and we get back to the studio, I'll show you some of the different ones. It was a really cool concept. Honestly, they look like they'd catch fish. I don't know if the idea was just too far ahead of its time. You gotta keep in mind, this was well before the Dean Rojas frog craze. And I just don't think folks were thinking this way. Um, 
But man, these are some money little baits that, boy, you do not see anywhere. There's one. Oh, he was shallow. Oh, come on, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I've been fishing deep, and I figured out these guys are way up shallow. The good part about this soft classic pop bar is you can fish it in those weeds. Come on, buddy. And it does not get hung up. Nice. All right, there we go. <laughs> nice little fish on the soft classic pop bar. It's totally weird setting the hook on a top water, which basically have to set the hook like a worm. Um, quite wild, but that's pretty cool. So hopefully we figured out a little bit of something here. Nice little early morning bass on the soft classic. All right, we're back in the studio after a few hours on the water with the vintage soft classic pop bar. I've got a couple unopened packs I'm gonna show you. And I also dug through the old treasure chest of Bass Pro Shops catalogs and found a spot for the soft classics in the 1995 master catalog. So here's the package, here's what it looks like. It does say Rebel Soft Classic Pop Bar and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six soft classic versions of that very classic bait. One of the things I will say on the water, um, at times I loved this bait, and at times it was a little bit challenging. It's kind of funny, but even when I was fishing with the same bait, the action was actually quite inconsistent. Sometimes it would give you that perfect pop bar spit right on top, and other times it almost was like a subsurface walker, like an X-Wrap or something like that. So it was a little bit tough to get used to it. And I can imagine if you're on the water and you've only got six of them, it wouldn't be too hard to blow through them without really getting it dialed in. That being said, there were two things that I loved about this bait. The first off was that it is completely weedless. And you can throw this thing in places that you could never ever throw a classic pop bar. And secondly, as I mentioned, that classic pop bar is only like a quarter ounce so it is quite difficult to cast on, let's say, 17 pound test mono. The soft classic, however, you can throw this thing a country mile and absolutely, uh, I was getting distance on this like I never get with a pop bar. What would happen? This lure would be spitting along on the surface. I would pause, it would start to sink down, and then a fish would hit. It's kind of tough to go from the mindset of waiting for a top water bite, but then also a subsurface bite. So the fish would hit on the slack line and I just didn't get a good hook in them. That being said, I'm pretty confident that I fish with this bait more regularly. Uh, I could get just fine with it and I would be missing fish. I will say this too, if you do get a hook in them, just like any worm, they're not gonna jump it like they would some of those treble hooks. I've got them in a couple of different color varieties. This one is sort of a rainbow trout pattern. This one's a sparkle gold. Silver Fleck, Salt and Pepper, and Chartreuse Pepper. I've also got just one pack of this, the soft classic version of the Zara Puppy. Because I've only got one, I did not open it today, but I could be persuaded. I'll let you check this thing out. It's basically a Zara Puppy profile in a soft plastic form. And you can see by the back, you rig this thing up pretty much the same way that you do the pop bar. All right, now it's time to check out the 1995 Master Catalog. It's not a giant spread on the soft classics, but it's the only one I could find, so we'll take a closer look. In the comments section down below, let me know where you were and what you were fishing for in 1995. Or, if you're too young to remember that, what well, your pop might have been fishing for in 1995. I'll show you this spread if I can still find it. 
Now here's a spread of the Popars. We've got the Magnum Popar, the Popar Plus, the Teeny Popar, and the Soft Classic. Let's see what it says about the Soft Classic. Rig the Soft Classic Popar for weedless presentations in thick cover where the biggest fish lurk. The famous sound, action, and profile can now be fished in hazardous locations without fear. To help ensure the lure's productivity, every new Soft Classic has been hypercharged with pure baitfish extract found in all baitfish. It's available in blue shad, smoke, rainbow trout, and chartreuse pepper. And there's Zell Rowland himself, and he says, Sometimes I wish I'd been able to keep the pop bar a secret. But now that the word is out, it's fun to hear just how many fish are being caught with this lure. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our little journey into the soft classic pop bar. Until next time, keep those pop bars a spitting. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.